Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Lauren and today I'm gonna to be doing another video for you kind of talking about telogen and fluvium or hair loss. I'm gonna be giving you my opinion on the big question of to wash or not to wash your hair when you're losing it. I wanna give you a couple disclaimers. Number one, this was something that I really struggled with, so I definitely learned things along the way and I thought that was a good you know, reason for me to make this video. This is also a question that I get a lot, so I know this is something that a lot of people struggle with. I think it's important though to remember that every single hair loss situation is different. So my opinion is just my opinion. Your unique situation is your unique situation. And I don't want you to do anything that feels wrong in your body or wrong for you just because I said it and I have regrowth. So just keep that in mind. I also wanna say the hair that you're losing today, if you haven't done research on the hair growth cycle, this is just one thing you need to know. The hair that you're losing today, like when you go like this and it's falling out, that started falling out a while ago that didn't start falling out yesterday so you can't do anything today to make it stop falling out tomorrow you're gonna just have to like the end goal is just to get regrowth and to slow down the shedding that you have so I think it's important to remember that because I think it's really easy to get frustrated that you're not seeing enough growth or you're still having fallout just remember you want to slow down the fallout and you want to speed up the regrowth Okay, so now let's jump into my top things to consider. The first thing that I would consider would be your scalp and your hair type. So do you have an oily scalp? Do you have a dry scalp? Do you have dry hair? Do you have oily hair? Do you have super wavy hair or curly hair that does better when you don't wash it? Are you like me and yours is super fine and straight and it's better if you, you know, wash it quite frequently? So I think you need to really look into what's best and the recommendations for your hair type. I would say focus on your scalp type more than your actual ends because again, we really want the regrowth to be healthy and there's not much you can do about the fallout. So if you're going to lose this anyways, I would focus more up here if that makes sense. Okay, and talking about regrowth and fallout, that would be my second thing to consider. You need to look at regrowth and fallout. So when you're wondering whether or not you should wash your hair, you need to think, okay, is this gonna be positively impacting my regrowth more than it's negatively impacting the fallout or vice versa? So I think if you're losing a ton of hair and you just don't feel like washing it is the answer, then don't wash it. That might not be the answer. I think you should try different things, but I think, again, you really do want to focus on making sure the hair that you're growing is going to be healthy. My third thing to consider would be, you know, you really need to focus on scalp health and hair health above all else. So I think that it's really important to kind of get out of the funk of, oh my gosh, I'm losing my hair and I know that's hard to do and I'm gonna make a couple videos giving you tips for that, but I really think that you need to focus on, okay, I need to focus on the health of my hair more than how it looks. So I would say, you know, even if maybe you lose a little bit more hair, but you feel healthier by washing it, then my recommendation would be to wash it. Just the same as if you feel like it's negatively impacting you more to wash it, maybe it's drying your scalp out, making it more itchy, that sort of a thing, then my recommendation would be to not wash it. So again, it really just depends on the situation. Okay, and then the last thing to consider, which really kind of doesn't go into whether or not you should wash, but it just is something that I think is important to consider, what are you washing with? So this is not the time to pinch pennies trust me this also is not the time to waste a crap ton of money on products that don't work so i would say you really need to focus on what is your approach i took the natural and organic approach so i wanted to cut out all chemicals that was kind of what i thought was maybe causing the loss um, i think dry shampoo really caused a, a big amount of hair loss for me and a really really big amount of the scalp problems that I was having but I also think I was like washing my hair with a really chemically shampoo because it was the only thing that was making it not fall out. Since the fallout kind of stopped I really focused on only using you know organic and and clean products and I saw that the regrowth took off a lot more so I was never somebody who used regrowth shampoo and conditioner or anything like that. And I think that really de depends on your situation. And again, your scalp health, I know it sucks. I can't give you a yes or no, but it's just how it is. I think that you really just need to kind of consider these things and make the decisions that's right for you. Don't worry about, you know, whether or not you should switch it up. Like if you feel like 
oh god, I just tried this and it's not working, then just do something else. There's no right or wrong. Again, the hair that's falling out is hair that started falling out a long time ago. So all you're trying to do is just get on a right and a healthy path. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I hope that this gives you a little bit of insight into what I felt like was a huge question for me and I know it's a big question because I get a lot of whether or not you should wash your hair when you're losing it. Let me know what other types of videos or anything else that you'd like me to talk about on this topic or anything else and like and subscribe to my channel please. Hope you all have an awesome day.